Hi, my name is Ivanka. Welcome to my channel. Here are my stats and extracurriculars for how I got into the UNKC six-year BAMD program and the Union AMC BSMD program. Before we start, I just want to say I understand that college applications is definitely a difficult time. For everyone watching, remember that everyone has a different story. Applications are viewed holistically and what worked for me may not necessarily work for you because you have a different story. So this video is just what worked for me. For some context, I go to a suburban large public high school. My class size was around 450 people. My school district does not rank and my unweighted GPA was a 4.0. My weighted GPA was a 4.816. Let's go over coursework. Going into high school, I already had some high school credit that I'd gotten from middle school courses. I was able to get credit for Spanish 1 and 2. I also did honors geometry and honors biology in 8th grade. The summer before my freshman year, I did design fundamentals. It was just a few weeks in person over the summer, and I did online PE to get one out of the two credits done. My freshman year, I took Hella 9, Honors Algebra 2, Debate, first semester and graphic design second semester, symphonic orchestra, honors chemistry, AP human geography, and Spanish 3. Going into high school, I knew that I wanted to go into medicine and that my dream is to be a doctor. And so in general, I took a lot of challenging classes, but I made sure to emphasize STEM classes, which you really start seeing in my sophomore year. So the summer before sophomore year, I took computer applications to get my second tech credit and health and wellness online. And then sophomore year, I took Hella 10, Honors Accelerated Pre-Calc BC, Symphonic Orchestra, AP Biology, AP Physics 1, AP World History, and Honors Spanish 4. My junior year, I took AP English Language, AP Seminar, AP Calc BC, Symphonic Orchestra, AP Chemistry, AP US History, and Honors Spanish 5. I know that going into junior year, a lot of people end up not taking language classes anymore because they get the credits that they need to graduate high school. I personally loved Spanish, which is why I decided to keep on taking it. Also, my school was the only one in my district that offered AP seminar for the AP capstone program, and so I was really grateful I got the chance to take that. And finally, my senior year, I did Ceramics 1 first semester and AP Gov second semester. AP English Literature, AP Research, AP Statistics, Symphonic Orchestra, Anatomy, and AP Spanish Language. So again, you can definitely see the STEM emphasis throughout high school. Next, let's get into standardized testing. I would take some practice tests of both the ACT and SAT to figure out which one you do better on. For example, if you're better at science, then I would definitely recommend the ACT because it has that science section. I did like the ACT better, however, I ended up giving both tests just in case. On my ACT, I had a 35 super score and a 34 composite, and on the SAT, I had a 1490. Keep in mind that scores are not everything. College applications are viewed holistically, so all the activities contribute towards your application. Your scores do not define who you are and what college you will get into. Now onto extracurriculars. The way I'm gonna categorize this is general high school activities. So activities that are not health related. Then I'll go into health related activities. So my first activity, I was a principal violinist in my local youth symphony. I led violinists in the symphony orchestra, created bowings and fingerings for my section, um, communicated with section leaders, and I also was selected to perform at Carnegie Hall in summer of 2023. I also played in the quartet program through my youth symphony. Next, I was a Taekwondo instructor and student. I had to pass a rigorous curriculum and teaching methods test, and I taught students of all ages Pumse, self-defense, and character development. I also assisted quarterly belt assessments and tests. Next is Leo Club, which is a student branch organization of the Lions Club. I served as president my senior year and secretary my junior year. I led bi-monthly member meetings, found volunteer opportunities for members, organized an annual fundraiser and yearly induction. I fostered connections through meeting and socials and also um, connected with the Lions Club for opportunities and ways to learn leadership. 
Next, I was a volunteer at a regional food bank. I've been volunteering at this food bank with my family since third grade, but in high school, I started leading projects on my own. I adopted a neighborhood and grocery store each year. So in the grocery store, I would have to go every week and check in with the store manager and monitor food and money donations. And then for the neighborhood adoption, I would go every fall to every house in a certain neighborhood and drop off bags and ask for donations and then the next week I would go pick up their donations and take it to the regional food bank. I was also selected for a youth leadership summit at this regional food bank in summer of 23. Next is Science National Honor Society. I served in highest leadership my senior year and social media manager my junior year. I led meetings, organized science opportunities for members. Next, I was a Mathnasium instructor. I completed a two month training program on the Mathnasium method and taught math concepts to students of all ages. I assisted students with Mathnasium curriculum and also their homework. Next, let's get into health activities. This includes health related volunteering and research. First, I assisted research at a local university the summer before my senior year. I assisted research on nutrition literacy in head and neck cancer survivors and caregivers. I shadowed a researcher in patient visits and helped conduct tests such as a hand grip test, um, a veggie meter and nutrition literacy test. I helped aid in the data collection process and also researched academic sources for future studies. Next, I was a volunteer at a local senior living facility for patients with dementia. So I spent time with senior residents with dementia and led interactive activities like puzzles, baking, and arts and crafts. I made engaging conversations and helped redirect behavior. I also went on walks with residents in the facility's gardens. I played violin for the residents and assisted in serving meals. Next, I took an online course on um, global and legal requirements of quality. I learned about regulatory and legal concepts in FDA regulations and how they relate to um, pharmaceutical and medical device industries. This included FDA regulations, clinical trial development, ethics, data integrity, and privacy. And I completed the course with honors. This was the summer before my junior year. I was an admin health volunteer. I aided nurses and visitors in the cardiac care unit or the CCU. I helped make discharge packets and care bags for patients. I restocked necessities and guided visitors around the hospital. And I also helped refill the nurse stations with medical supplies. I was a pre-medical seekers member at my school. I learned about different careers through guest speakers, interacted um, with members in field trips like a cadaver lab. I helped pack happy kits for kids at Children's Mercy Hospital during club organized events. Now this final activity is one I was able to submit for Albany Medical College but not for UMKC because of the deadline. So at the time of my UMKC application when I had to submit it on November 1st I had not done any shadowing at that point. I had emailed a lot of places and was trying really hard to receive an opportunity but nothing clicked. Finally in November of my senior year my research professor that I did research with over the summer helped me get a shadowing opportunity with a dietitian and I was so grateful for this opportunity. So in this, I shadowed dietitians and observed cancer patient visits as well as online calls. I also learned how head and neck cancer patients receive food through tube feeding. I also shadowed family medicine and learned how patients with prediabetes and high cholesterol are guided to improve their diet. And those are all my activities. <laughs> Water break. And finally, my awards. At the time of my application, I was a three-year Allstate violinist. I did become a four-year Allstate violinist in January of my senior year. So for this, I auditioned and was selected for four years at district at the time of my application and three years of Allstate Orchestra. I participated in Allstate conventions and took about six years of private lessons. My next award was a three-year Leo Club varsity letter in volunteering. So through the Leo Club at school, we had this amazing opportunity to receive a varsity letter if we met the following requirements. We needed a minimum of 60 hours of volunteering during the school year and had to volunteer at school, community, state, national, and international levels. Next is a three-year orchestra varsity letter. Here's what I did to qualify for this varsity letter. I participated in district and state orchestra auditions, performed at a solo and ensemble festival, which included multiple rehearsals with a pianist and um, improving performance presentation, working on style, intonation, etc 
and took private lessons. I was a National Merit Commended Scholar. I also received the AP Scholar with Distinction Award. To get this award, you have to have an average score of at least 3.5 on all AP exams taken. So I scored a 5 on Human Geography, Biology, AP Calc BC, Seminar, and US History. And I received a 4 on Modern World History, English Lang, Chemistry, and these were all the course AP courses I took in high school. That's pretty much everything. Now, some parting advice I have. Again, while this is what worked for me personally, I want you all to keep in mind that everyone has a different story. Admissions committees view applications holistically. I would recommend that you be as involved in your community as you can and just find ways to create a positive impact. Definitely take advantage of opportunities in your area, whether this be for research, volunteering, or shadowing. Remember, there is no exact thing or blueprint that you have to follow. Make sure that you showcase your passion for service and medicine through your activities and essays. Thank you so much. Good luck to everyone applying right now for college or working on college applications. Please feel free to comment down below with questions. I would be more than happy to answer them. Be kind to yourself and remember that you are doing so much better than you think. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.